Greetings, fellow Roto Ballers. Welcome back to Week 13, the Checkdowns edition of Booms and Busts. I'm Joe Christopoulos, my co-host, David Raspoli. What's up, Dave? How was your holiday? Joey, it was so good, my man. My life, Booms and Busts, came to fruition. I ate all the turkey and had all the regret. Well, let's got, dive right into it, man. Who is your first boom heading into Week 13? Who's the guy that's going to maybe win someone's fantasy week for him? Yeah, this one seems obvious to a lot of people. He's the hot waiver wire pickup, but I'm saying huge game in store for Alexander Madison. Now, a lot of people are scared off Alexander Madison. They've probably gotten burned from him in years past. There's been tons of times where Dalvin Cook has been hurt and Alex Madison, Alexander Madison did not produce. Not the case this year. And the best part is the sample we have with Alexander Madison was against Detroit. And that's who he faces this week. But if you want to go back to all the games Dalvin Cook has missed, when he is out, Alexander Madison has averaged 24.8 touches for 125 yards and 0.75 tutties. And when he met Detroit last, he gave them 150 all-purpose yards and a receiving tutty. And here's my favorite part, off seven targets. So he became the check down go-to for old Kirk Cousins. And I can foresee the same thing happening this week. And the best part is they're playing the Lions, Dave. Yes. 11 different running backs have posted at least 14 plus fantasy points against the Lions this year. I think Madison can do it again. I'm super all over this. I'm super into it. And after the Bears beat the Lions, I don't think the Lions are going to get another win yet this season. Sorry, guys. So any player that's going up against them is probably a good play. Uh, the next boom that I have I want to throw out there is let's do uh, Rams wide receivers versus the Jaguars. Now, look, Joey. Cooper Cup, he's leading the NFL in receiving yards, but au contraire, I'm actually going with all the wide receivers because I like the secondary options here coming into this week. I think the Rams really need to figure out what's going to work best for them with this offense moving forward, and against the Jaguars, I think they can get it done, where I don't think it's going to be the Cooper Cup show. Got to learn to run the ball and get other people involved. I'm just going to read off some names to you real quick against teams. You know, The Jaguars are the 11th most fantasy points to wide receivers. These are guys that have burned them this, so far this year. Cortland Sutton, A.J. Green, Christian Kirk, Tyler Boyd, Tyler Lockett, Brandon Ayuk, Russell Gage. Those are all wide receiver twos in most of these offenses, and they've all burned them for at least 80 yards and a touch this year. That's why I'm loving Van Jefferson, and I know there's a lot of hate going around about Odell. I kind of think this is the perfect landing spot to maybe play Odell in a flex spot who's going to get you a touchdown, and for the next week we're going to be like, he finally did it, and here he comes. I don't think it's on a week-to-week -week thing. I just think this week the secondary wide receivers for the Rams really get it done against the Jags. I love the call, Joey. I'm going with an entire offense for my last boom. Let's keep the train rolling down in Tampa Bay. Bucks offense versus Atlanta. Now, Bucks had a little bit of a quiet week 12, but something tells me they're about to get very loud, Joey. Heavy, metal loud, okay? The Bucks absolutely worked Atlanta in their last meeting. Evans went off for two tutties. Godwin scored a tutty. Gronk went off for two tutties. I see much of the same. I'm talking Brady, Lenny, Evans, Godwin, Gronk. If you got a buck, start him. I keep thinking you're talking about like the Beatles get back documentary. <laughs> like Lenny, Brady, they all got back together. And yeah, if you look at the Falcons, who they played over the last four or five games to, they really haven't seen some big time receivers outside of CeeDee Lamb. So this might be kind of a rude awakening for them as the numbers have come down. The competition really hasn't been there. Dave, man, it is time for our bus this week. With a heavy heart, I'm going to get us started. You're going to bring it home on Clyde Edwards Slayer versus the Denver Broncos. I just don't like it because this Broncos defense is kind of tightened up somehow without Von Miller on the field. They haven't allowed a single run, a tight end to running backs over their last four games. And Edwards Slayer, I, I, I'm not really a buyer yet. Are you a believer or are you a bust on Hilaire this week? I think Edwards Slayer is going to be a huge bust. I think this is a guy who, yeah, he got you 63 rush yards and a score, but I think he's going to leave fa fantasy managers feeling very, uh, you know, eh, eh. It's going to be a eh week because Denver held Austin Eckler to 32 rush yards, Zeke to 51 rush yards. I mean, these are great running backs. These are running backs leading the league in, in different stats, and they've been tough on them. I just can't see it happening with CEH, and we know Mahomes can get it done so many different ways, right? And it's very rarely that they get down to the five and they're trying to run it in for three plays. 
And I'm going with my final bust. And this isn't necessarily don't put him on your bench. This is just watch out and maybe prepare yourself for a little bit of a disappointment. I'm calling bust on Stephon Diggs versus the New England Patriots this week. Look, it's the tale as old as time that Belichick will take out your number one guy and say beat us with other players on the field. Stephon Diggs is that number one guy. The Bills offense up and down. Pretty mediocre, honestly, over the last four or five weeks. So that's not a great matchup against a hot Patriots defense. And then the final one is against the Patriots, only two 10-plus fantasy point, uh, point games from wide receivers since week seven. Diggs could maybe get to that number, but he's getting over 12-13. I'm dubious he is a bust for me in week 13. Yeah, only the Cardinals and the Bills have given up less receiving yards and touchdowns than New England. They're an absolute red matchup for anybody. And like you said, Joe, Bill Belichick does better than anybody else, takes away the best weapon. That's definitely Stephon Diggs. Life boom, life bust. You got it before we get out of here, Dave? Joey, I'm just happy to be here and alive, okay? That's my boom and my bust because at any time it can bust. We all know that. Uh, life boom for me, new Ghostbusters, don't read the reviews. It's actually really fun if you walk in without some sort of weird expectation that it's going to uh, make all of your dreams come true. It's just Ghostbusters. It's a fun movie. Uh, life bus. Dave, I can't stop pooping. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know. Thanksgiving. <laughs> really went for it. Gotcha. Can't stop. I can't stop. I don't know when it's going to happen. There's a hole in my chair right now just in case. That's my life bust right now. And that's Boom and Boss for week 13, the check down. Dave's speechless. I'm still talking, but I'm Joey Christopoulos at Joey Sports Guy. My co host, David Raspoli at Teddy Guy. Make sure you give him a follow on Twitter. Boom and Bus, go win that league. We'll see you next week.